Hey guys, this is Frank. Thanks for watching. This is DIY Engineer Channel. Um, I know I said I was about done with that lawnmower thing, but I got one more mod that I need to do. And that modification is to put lights on my lawnmower. The reason being is I like to mow my lawn at night. And during the day it's 100 degrees and who wants to mow their, their lawn in that type of weather? So what I did is uh, I actually ordered in some lights and a, a gauge so I can look at uh, how much usage I'm actually um, using with the lawnmower. And this video, I'm just going to show you the process I used to actually put it into the battery case and um, a little bit of mowing just so you can see how the lights work. I think it's just fabulous because it turns it almost to daylight when I'm out mowing. It's a lot of fun. So stay tuned. <music> So I decided to try something new. I'm going to do a voiceover instead of a headshot and you having to look at my mug the whole time. All I'm doing here is just uh, working with the battery pack itself and cutting out the holes that I need for the uh, voltage gauge, which does volts, amps, does um, overcurrent, overvoltage, undercurrent, low voltage. Um, and I'm just trying to get it to fit. So I'm just going through and just cutting this thing up and creating a hole for it. When looking at the lights, when I get to the lights, you'll see that uh, there, there are two units, two um, headlamps. The headlights I got have a voltage range of like 12 volts to 70 volts. There's just a really wide range and so they can handle all sorts of different voltages. And most of the stuff I saw, like on Amazon or eBay, I was looking at around um, you know, 12 or 24 volt lights. And so that means I would have to step down. So I was looking at Drock um, voltage converters to step down the voltage for the lights. And I just, I just opted for these lights. They were, it was less money just to get the, the lights with the wider voltage range. And they work out really well. That little white unit there is a, uh, it's, it's the unit that actually measures the amperage. So it can tell how many amps have been consumed and how many amps are currently being used as the lawnmower is running. Very handy. I have other ones that, uh, different styles in like my portable power pack than I have here. But this, this one here seems to be working really well. I've been very impressed with um, and pretty impressed with it. All right, so I got that in there, kind of figured that out a little bit. Now I'm gonna work on lights. So you can see here, this is one of the uh, LED lights. And you'll notice that I'll wipe my hands off a couple times because there's like heat sink um, uh, paste on these because they actually put out some heat and they need to be able to be cooled down. And it, so I kept getting it on my fingers. I was getting white all over my hands. So now I'm just uh, mounting these up and it'll just take a minute for me to get these into place. And I'll show you some quick photos of what it looks like after I get everything turned up. One of the things that's cool is even if I'm not using the lawnmower, I can pull this battery out of the lawnmower and carry it around. <laughs> it actually acts as a, uh, it's like a portable flashlight, a pretty beefy one. I mean, it's very big and technically I can run it for, oh, I could probably run it for a couple days before I would actually drain it because the, uh, the amperage that these lights pull is just one amp at the uh, 48 or the, the 36 volts or right around between 36 and 40 volts. So pulling at one amp at that, it's still consuming quite a bit of juice, but it's not a big deal. One of the good things about having that uh, voltage meter and the amp meter on there is I'm able to tell what my usage is while mowing. When my son was mowing me on the lawn last night, yeah, when it was being stressed or being worked pretty hard, it would get up around 12 amps. And, you know, measurements, 12 amps at, you know, 38, say 38 uh, volts, 
You're looking, you know, just right around 400 watts of power is being consumed. And the battery seems to be just working really well handling that, uh, that kind of uh, usage. Um, just setting idle, the lawnmower with the lights on draws about six amps. It's just sitting on the concrete, just running. And when it's actually mowing, it averages about anywhere between eight and 12, depending on how thick the grass is and how, you know, how much it's being used or being worked because of the grass. But most of the time it's floating right around about eight, um, eight amps while mowing. All right, so there's the lights, and I was just kind of fitting everything together in the case and seeing how that looks. And uh, my wife came out to give me some consulting ideas on ways that I should mount it. We've always been a pretty good team. She's, her and I have built three homes together, and so she's got a good engineering eye. It's kind of fun. All right, wiring's done. That looks good. So now you can see the voltage meter something. And there's the headlights. So you can see how bright these are <laughs> in, in night. And it just really, it lights things up. And it's pretty impressive to, to see how much daylight is actually out here. I'd like to thank my dad. He came down from Washington State to mow my lawn for me. He was, this was just at dusk. And you can see it's still pretty, pretty bright with those lights. All right, guys. I hope uh, that was informative. I hope that was helpful. If you found this video interesting and you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe below. Leave any comments that you might have. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you watching. And once you subscribe, ding the bell so that you have the opportunity to receive updates whenever um, I post new material. So with that, thanks for watching.